You've heard of unconditional love, but have you heard of the secret to unconditional happiness and allowing more into your life? More wealth, more success, and more love. More freedom in your life right now. Welcome to the Happy Bar with Israel Savage. One thing that we haven't talked about as much is, and a good thing to keep in mind is soothing. And really, that's what all of this comes down to. We want to always so- be soothing ourselves. So, what is, you know, when my kids act out, and by act out, I, I just mean they're having a difficult time with whatever is happening and, and are expressing it in all kinds of ways. And, and so, so when, when they exhibit less than ideal behavior or less than ideal thoughts about things that are happening in their, in their life, I could react to that. I could, if I'm not in my best place, respond to that and be pulled into that. And then we're, we're in this loop together where we're arguing, you know, you, you do this, you know, you need to do this and you need to do this. I could do that if I'm not in my best feeling place, It'd be easily pulled into where they are. When I'm in my uh, better, higher flying place, then I see what they really need isn't to be corrected, isn't to be controlled but they need to be soothed, soothed. Because in this moment, more is going to make more. No matter what I do to hold on or try to push or pull them, I'm going to encounter resistance. What they really need to be is soothed, calmed, soothed, whatever that means. Whatever it may, Sometimes it means space. They need space. And then come back and approach this topic when when. I'm, when they're in a better feeling place. And so soothing, what, what, how can we soothe ourselves? And many times when we're under the weather, I know I tend to get emotional, quote unquote, you know, and so I'm a little more sensitive because that's my emotions, that's my thoughts, that's my body saying, okay, you need to just take care of you. So what would make you feel good? A hot cup of tea, a walk, not thinking about X, Y, and Z, a bath or whatever it is. Be extra, extra kind to yourself. Uh, especially when you're under the weather, but any time that, that you need it, just like you would be if, if a five-year-old was in front of you that was having a hard time with, with stuff. Uh, you know, soothing. How can I soothe myself? How can I soothe myself? How can I soothe myself? It's pretty, pretty amazing to think that, wow, instead of being hard on myself about, and you're not being hard on yourself. That's not what I'm saying at all. But it does make me think about how important it is, instead of beating ourselves up about not doing this or not doing that, to soothe ourselves and to laugh about it. And I love that you're taking it in such a light way. You're like, <laughs> this thing is happened that, happening that used to bother me, but it's just kind of, I'm just, uh, oh, well, I'm being very light <laughs> about it, right? Because why not? Why not enjoy it? Let's see what happens, right? There's a fun about it, a playfulness. I feel, and there's something about it that feels good for you. So that's awesome. If you liked what you just heard, then take inspired action now. That's right. Act while you are feeling good and build on your momentum. Schedule your free discovery call with me at instudios-nyc.com forward slash happy bar.